with another YouTube video. This one is going to be an actual tutorial. Um, I've done a couple of tutorials before on my diaper cakes, but they were early on in my business, so I'm not sure if I want to put those up. But I'm going to take another look at them to see if they're worth putting up. Today I'm going to be showing you my creative process. I have a diaper cake order that I have to make, pink and green, with a little bit of blue, but I haven't exactly decided on what I'm going to use yet, so you're kind of going to be going with me to see what I choose. One, two, first I'm going to be making the diaper cake. I need 27, making a three-tier diaper cake, I need 27 diapers. For the first tier, the bottom tier, I need 16 for the middle and 7 for the top. Oh, I guess I should tell you what you actually need. You need diapers. I use size 1 diapers because they're a little bit bigger and babies grow out of newborn pretty quickly. You need 3 rubber bands. You need ribbon. You already know what you're going to use. Spools of ribbon. And a glue gun that I have yet to turn on. Uh, what else do you need? I have a few extra things here. I have a little punch, paper punch. I have some paper um, that I'm going to use for the inside. I have a Spinny cake face, this helps me easier to decorate so I don't have to keep twisting the cake around on the table. And I have a large cake pan. Um, and I've already made the second and the middle and top tiers. I'm just going to show you how I make it right now. I don't individually roll the diapers because that takes extremely long. And I've gotten my fingers popped. By rubber bands too many times and then I imagine when the mom and or dad are trying to use the diapers they have to um, take the rubber band off of each and every diaper and that must be annoying when you have a baby to take care of so my diapers are cascaded some people call them boutique style and it really doesn't matter they're a lot quicker to do Cascade them and wrap the rubber band around it. And then you can just go around it, making sure the um, the diapers are relatively evenly spaced out, so they look nice. The good thing I do like the way the individually rolled diapers look. It's a lot easier to get them to look um, neater, cleaner, symmetrical, but they take too long. I think that's okay. Alright. Now that my glue gun is heating up, it's going to take a few minutes. I've already got these cut out. Not sure if I'm going to use them yet. Um, but right now I'm going to make the center. Um, sometimes I use a cardboard tube. Right now I don't have that. So I'm just going to use, I have a bunch of paper that I don't use too often. So I use that for the center. Just roll it up to a tube. Grab some tape. Tape it shut. Doesn't matter what you use for the center, <laughs> you just need something to hold the diapers together. Oh, you're cooperating today. If it comes a loose, probably don't even really need to tape it. I'm not sure why I do have it. 
stick it inside the center. Take the top next here. Find the hole. Slide it to the top. And take the top tear. Make a little hole. Slide that. A three tier diaper cake. Oops, I call it my diaper canvas. This is where the real creating comes. Alright, glue gun's not hot yet. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try a couple things. I have a few ribbon here. I like the pink and green flower one, but I don't think it, it's really going to match the others. Hmm. Like, and I like this flower. This These flowers really match the theme that they want as far as the shade of pink. But then again, these don't really go together. Maybe I can make it work. We'll see. I forgot, sorry. Need scissors. at the base can't really see what's going on at the bottom there so I don't think I need to put a ribbon under it so what I do is I wrap it around to measure and I like my ribbon to be snug around the diapers so they're not sliding all over the place I'm going to overlap just a little for the glue measure the bottom Alright, so I've got my top ribbon, center, and bottom. So right now I'm actually looking at a picture of the colors that they sent me. So I see the invitation and I kind of want to mock the invitation a little bit as far as color placement. Um, let me go with green. I already had this cut out because I started on this um, before, but I wasn't satisfied with what I did. Oh, what I usually do is I don't glue, I don't wrap the ribbon around and then try to glue it in place. I measure it, then I kind of figure out where I need to stop. So like, I would probably need to stop there. So I would hold the place and then I remove it, glue it, put some glue on it, and then hold it down for a few seconds. That's what I did with this. That's why it's already glued. And then you can just slide it over where you want it. It's nice and snug. I'm going to slide all over the place. I'm thinking this will be at the bottom. So I'm thinking pink at the bottom. Hmm. It's like a neon pink. I'm not a fan of neon pink. Maybe it's not right. Too much. Right now I'm measuring the spot where I need to glue. Hold it. My new glue gun, the other one started to 
drip excessively and it got really annoying and really hard to effectively get my orders done. I'm going to let the green overlap the pink a little bit. So, the majority of my diaper cakes are centerpieces for baby showers. Um, so, I'm not going to put any baby items on this. Um, I used to do gifts. Um, I stopped doing that because business got a little crazy so I kind of had to narrow down my product line. But I think I'm, I've finally got myself on track as far as time management and organization. So I will be adding gifts back to my shop very soon. I think the next tutorial I'll do will be a gift. Another reason why I didn't do this gifts is because um they get I wanted to do it where it can also be decoration and with gifts you know you got kind of have to find well I would like to find coordinating items so it also looks nice not just placed wildly on the cake I made this a little too long. I've seen some nice diaper cake gifts out there. I was thinking I'll do some white down the center. Or let's see. What if I put some blue on the center of the white? The white is, um, the center is sh of the white is sheer. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not a fan. It might look good on a different cake. No. She honestly said she doesn't really need blue. And since I'm not finding a way to make that. Wait a second. I really need my glasses. It kind of looks good in person. It actually looks really good in person. Let's do that. Alright, so now that I have my ribbon already on it, I can glue directly onto the ribbon. I'm not going to measure and cut, I'm going to glue. Overlap. Glue. Cut. So it's a little bit of glue. And then I go to the back where they connect and then I glue directly on the line between the green and the pink. And since I'm making it snug, I don't have to keep gluing down. I'm just going to 
bring it back to the beginning and glue it in place. Now, I've got the blue. Now I'm going to put the white over it. So the white is going to go directly over the blue. The sheer is going to be, the blue is going to be directly in the center of the sheer. This white is great because it, the pitcher also has white clouds. Curves, whatever you want to call it. Things turn out rather nicely, don't you think? Careful when you're gluing sheer because it's sheer, and if you got when you have to put pressure down, you're gonna feel some heat. I don't hold my finger there though; I kind of tap, so I'm not foolishly just sitting there getting burned. All right, I'm liking how it's turning out. Can you see? Do you need to get a little closer? And then I've got some white paper. I'm gonna make a few cuts. Just to see how it looks. So if I were to add these just around the cake, thinking would that be too much? I think I have blue lines there. Oh, want to see my embellishment drawer center? Here, you the light. Bought those from the dollar store. So these actually have stickies on the back. But I don't trust them. So I usually add a little bit of glue to it. And it's annoying because I do add glue and they're so small. I don't want the glue to seep out. So glue. You can eyeball it, put it in the center. And I have a little flower. With the so what I'll do now is just add some accents to it by putting these flowers around it. Um, I don't want too much. Don't want to overwhelm it. I'm gonna stick this picture here because that's where it's going to go. Oh, with the bows there, it's gonna look so much better. But I gotta figure out a way to um, surround it with some, and frame it. What do you think? I think I'm going to change the game up a little bit the game plan a little bit. Um, I pulled out these flowers, they're hair bow flowers. Um, I think I'm going to, instead of having these bows here, I think I'm just going to use the flowers. That way I can also put it on top and it doesn't look out of place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on each spot since the cake is the theme is pretty much flowers. I do like the bows though. Go 
got a white flower there. I'm actually going to let the customer decide if she wants the flowers or bows, but for the video's sake, I'm going to do the flowers. Alright, and with the picture, I decided to add the same flowers that's around the base to the back. So I just glued them to the back like that. I'm not going to glue it yet because I'm still not sure. But I'm going to grab another white flower. Some pretty little flowers at the top. Push this together. The good thing about these flowers, these are hair, these are hairball flowers, so you can take them off and reuse them. these from the Haribo Center. I am less satisfied. What do you think? So I'm going to go ahead and show her. I may or may probably add a few more blank flowers to the back. Or like the side of the back. So that is how I make a diaper cake. This is my process. Hope you enjoyed.